In 1837, an iron plate was supposedly discovered in the Great Pyramid by Howard Bice and his team. Now, as the Great Pyramid was built at the beginning of the Bronze Age, most academics have just dismissed this as either a hoax or a mistake. Alternate history buffs, on the other hand, frequently cite this as evidence of high-tech in ancient Egypt. But there's a lot of religious significance surrounding iron in the ancient Egyptian resurrection process. And some people have theorized that those star shafts, as they call them, the reason they're pointed at stars is to facilitate the king, the pharaoh, to go up into the night sky. So it would make sense to have an iron gate there. Even if it was just a tiny one, it would be significant symbolically. Obviously, this doesn't say anything about why an iron plate would end up in the Bronze Age, but it does say why, if it one was available, the Egyptians would want it. In 2008, Hideo Akinuma, he published a paper that was on a handful of artifacts that were made out of metal, some of them actually qualifying as steel, that were found in Kalankaya Hoyek, Turkey. And these were dated by context, reliably, solidly dated by context, to 2200 BC. And there was enough of them there that he actually ended up saying this. These archaeometallurgical results appear to indicate that during the Middle Bronze Age at Kalmankai Hoyek, iron objects with the composition of steel were being used in daily life and some kind of iron production activity was taking place. So in Turkey, just 300 years before the Great Pyramid was finished, we have enough iron and steel for them to say that it was part of daily life. And now the iron that's found in the pyramid is not steel, it's iron. So say the people in Turkey are making iron. And the people in Egypt, this is, I mean, obviously the height of their political and financial power, right? I mean, and the, the pharaohs are sparing no expense in securing their place in the afterlife. If there is iron being produced, even if it's the crappy leftover junk that we can't use for tools from the Turkish perspective of the guys manufacturing it, it's still worth trading to those rich ass Egyptians because they'll just slap it up in their pyramid and pretend it's how they get to see God. 